Hi, I'm Jay McClellan, and this is a new accessory I just got for my workshop. It's a uh, seven foot long boom arm for mounting a camera. Uh, I got it because I, I've got some projects coming up and I want to shoot videos of them, but I don't really have a good way to mount a camera overhead to get overhead shots in the shop. I've improvised some things with tripods and clamps and things, but I think this is going to work a lot better. This is an Impact LSA WMB7HD and I'll put a link to it in the video description. Here's a look at the business end of it, and uh, first impression, it's actually pretty nice looking. It was just a little over $100 in, uh, on Amazon, and really the quality seems very good. These are all metal fittings. They look kind of like plastic, just because of the way they're powder coated, but these are all metal. So it seems pretty good quality in that regard. The um, end has this stud. It comes with a stud, and then I added this ball head this is just an inexpensive ball head. It was under 20 bucks, and I'll put a link to that as well. And I've got a quick release on the end so I can quickly move my camera from one mount to another. I've got a lot of different places I would like one of these in the shop. And I could go out and just buy five or six of these and, and put them all over the place, and that would, be, that would be all right, but a little bit pricey. So what I'm gonna do instead is modify this so that it has kind of a, a quick mounting plate on the back so I can move it around to different places in the shop really easily and that way I only need one and uh, don't, doesn't clutter up the shop with lots of boom arms everywhere but I can uh, place it where I want it and if I find a need for a new location I can quickly make a mount for it and attach it there. This metal base plate has a bunch of different holes for mounting and what I'm going to do is enlarge these four large ones to make kind of a keyhole slot. Uh, on each one so that I can set it over a set of four lag bolts and just slide it on and, and lack, latch it in place. So I'm going to have to take this plate off from the boom arm and put it on my milling machine and mill out these slots into keyholes. So I'll just loosen these two bolts that hold the bracket on and it should come right off. I'm going to turn these holes into slots using my milling machine. If you don't have a milling machine, you could do this with just a drill to drill the holes at the ends of the slots and a jigsaw with a metal cutting blade to cut out the slots in between the holes. I've got it clamped in on the vise and just eyeballed the whole center location to get my part located well enough for this purpose. So I need to enlarge this hole to, uh, I'm going to make it 5 eighths of an inch, which is a little bit bigger than the size of this screw head. And I've got a step drill chucked up. It's all centered on my hole and I'm just going to drill this down until it reaches the 5 8 inch level. Okay, now I'll drill the next one. So I've got my holes drilled, but there's quite a burr on the back side, so I'm going to flip it over and deburr it just with a hand drill. Now I'll mill the slot so the bolt can go through and then the bracket can slide down onto it. And I'm just going to go down uh, the center of the hole and then cut one inch. There we go. One slot done. Three to go. Well, here it is all finished with the slots cut. I just have to bolt it back on to the swing arm and it'll be ready to go. And I also made this plywood template with a drilling guide. So anytime I want to mount the swing arm in a new place in my shop, I can just lay, these, lay this template on the surface, drill four holes, put the lag screws in, and it's good to go. Well, here's the assembled camera boom with a camera on it. And I can mount it just that fast in the center of my shop. I can swing it over this workbench and get a straight down shot. I can swing it over the smaller workbench behind me and get a straight down shot or an angled shot. I can loosen this and stretch it all the way out to seven feet and get a shot down on this work surface. And I can even swing it all the way behind me like that and get a shot looking down on my table saw. Over on the post here, I've got mounting bolts on three sides, here, here, and here. So I can uh, mount it in, in three different positions on the post. All I have to do is lift up on it to pull it off of here, like that, and then pop it on to another side. 
and now I can swing it around through a different range. Over on this side of the shop, I screwed four lag screws into the post uh, right in the right pattern so I can mount the camera arm over here as well, like that. And now I can swing it over my table saw for a different angle. And I can also swing it over here and slide it out a bit. And now I can get it down over my uh, welding table. I put another mount over here in the metalworking area up on the wall. And now I can swing it over my metal lathe area. So I can swing this out. And over here I can position it right over my metal lathe or swing it around over my milling machine. Well, that wraps it up. Pretty simple project, but uh, it's really useful for me, especially having this mount that allows me to move it around really quickly in the shop. I think that getting a camera set up quickly for the projects I'm doing is gonna make it a lot easier for me to shoot videos of them. And so I'm looking forward to showing you some of the projects I've got uh, coming up. And if I find that I need another place to mount this in the shop or maybe in one of my other uh, work areas, all I need is a scrap of two by six and some bolts and uh, just attach it to a wall stud or any other suitable support and it's ready to go. So I hope you found this useful and thanks for watching.